Hello everyone, I am Rinku Dhiman, working as an assistant professor in electrical engineering department at RPIIT Technical and Medical Campus, Karnal. So today we are going to discuss analog filter versus digital filter. So analog filter and digital filter are the most important electrical component or electronic components nowadays used in every kind of uh, equipments like uh, either it is a A to D converter or D to A converters. So uh, we will understand the concept of filter, what is filter, then we will understand the uh, analog filter concept, then digital filter, what are its types, then we will make a comparison of both analog and digital filter and uh, furthermore we will uh, like uh, understand the advantages and disadvantages of these two kind of filter and the application in industry as well. So first of all we must we understand what is filter, a filter is uh, an uh, like a component, electronic components which remove the unwanted noise from the uh, signal. So unwanted noise may include that some kind of frequency, higher frequency component, lower frequency component that is not our area of interest or it may be noise disturbance. So it will give a pure signal to us like to remove the some kind of noise, drift, disturbance in the signal. So analog filter we must be understand these two types of filter we always uh, utilize in our electronic circuit one is your active filter and another is your passive filter. So in analog filters we will understand like what is active filter So active filter we can say that it is include the RLC component with some energy sources such as operational amplifier or we can say that some kind of transistor equipment. So they will generate uh, electricity itself uh, as an energy source within it. They don't need to an external source for their uh, working. In passive filters, they also include the RLC component. It is not necessary that all these three components will be present. Sometimes L is omitted or on the purpose we will utilize this because uh, uh, the size and cost of the inductor matter somehow uh, that will along with R we have to put or not in the designing. So uh, L we can also put with the C like uh, in C uh, capacitor so that will make a LC filter same way RC filter we will utilize. So these are the categories of filter for the analog filter active and passive filter furthermore there are the lot of category depending upon the frequency band like uh, we can say that uh, low pass filter, high pass filter, band pass filter and band stop filter so these are also categories of filters. Then the next we will understand uh, the filter uh, basically we define that digital filter kya hota hai? A digital filter is a system that performs mathematical operations on a sampled discrete time signal to reduce or enhance certain aspect of the signal. So digital filter basically performs all the mathematical arithmetical operations at a sampled uh, signal frequency. So that will generate the some kind of discrete time signal or it will reduce or enhance the certain aspect of the signal. So in digital signal processing there are mainly two types of system that is digital filter and spectrum analyzer. So in digital filter. Uh, that perform the signal filtering in the time domain and in spectrum analysis that provide the representation in the frequency domain. So these two kind of domain we always utilize into the digital filter. The first one is your uh, frequency domain, another is your time domain. So this is the basic principle of working uh, for the digital filter we always utilize. The first one uh, like uh, we have with XT signal uh, that is our analog signal so that will be somehow in this format. So this is our basically X axis and this is our signal analog signal. So we have to define this signal like this is our XT signal. So this XT signal is nothing but our analog signal that is with respect to our time t. So uh, this axis signal we have to put uh, to the anti-analyzing filter. So is anti-analyzing filter is nothing but uh, that that remove the frequency component less than 2 fm. So it will make the signal in a band limited uh, frequency that then it is fed to our sampler uh, where it is sampled at a frequency of fs 
and uh, then finally it is fed to our adc that that nothing but it uh, will behave like conversion process that will convert our analog signal into digital signal so basically uh, after this process the signal will convert like that into digital format so uh, it will be look like that in this format somewhat how it is a digital uh, uh, samples we can see so these are the digital signal of our signal we have to put as a input. so this is our digital signal so we can say that our xt signal is now converted into x a signal that is the digital version of signal then we have to fit in, uh, fill uh, these things in your digital filter again here the sampling of the same signal is done so th that is known as the digital basically then this signal will convert into n number of samples so it will convert x of n into y of n so we'll get this uh, y n output and that will fed to this d a c conversion that is digital to analog conversion that is nothing but we again will convert this signal back to this one x t signal so we will get uh, over here like this signal we will get over here the yt signal but, but uh, we have to put the analog smoothening filter over there again we want to remove our uh, like if if the disturbance is added in the uh, signal or the noise will be added in the signal so we have to remove using this analog smoothening filters so this is all about the digital filter we we have to give an input with the analog signal then we'll convert this in digital signal and finally we will get the analog signal by the conversion of dac process then we will understand uh, like uh, uh, digital filters uh, working is nothing but depending upon these components so we will understand that uh, we have to utilize all these components using all these factors with digital filters now the basic construction of digital filter include uh, like we have to generate and the process of data that data is nothing but our digital data so this digital data uh, using the digital filter we can also process this data and we will generate the same sequence of data the component of your digital filter includes like adder, multiplier, delay units. So we will add the signal uh, by using this adder element, multiply the signal by using this multiplying. So all the arithmetic operation will uh, complete with these components. So uh, basically digital filter are vastly superior in the level of performance in comparison to analog filters. So we must understand digital filters nowadays uh, utilize uh, uh, more superiority in comparison to analog filters so another example of uh, digital filter like uh, another like deblurring of your image occurred by an improperly focused lens or shaky camera so this is the uh, uh, result of like if we shake the camera or we have not the proper focus of our lens of camera then there will be a deblurring of image okay so this problem can be re resolved either using the analog filter or digital filter so here i am giving with the two uh, like examples like analog filter and digital filters so we, we will understand this component like analog filter and digital filter so you can see that uh, here we are here with two components like uh, in analog filter we must understand here is the V node supply that is our analog input and here R and C these two component are given that is resistance and capacitance so we can understand this is the RC filter okay so we'll give the signal over here as an input and we'll get the output signal V uh, node to uh, T over here and similarly and digital filter work uh, will also uh, on the same principle this is the XN input we are given and we will get the YN output over here right so we will give the xn input and uh, this uh, xn input will uh, give the output yn signal and similarly uh, these components like already discussed in earlier slide this is adder this is delay delay we can say that n minus delay we are providing in terms of z inverse and this is our multiplier or we can say that this is the digital filter function so we have to apply multiplication process we again apply the addition process or we will minimize the noise suppress the noise and so many function we can done with this digital kind of things 
then we will understand uh, like these these are the component nothing but utilize for the purpose advantages of filter uh, we have to conclude like dsp filter is immune to environmental changes as analog filter component rlc so these are basically somehow dependent uh, somehow affected by the temperature humidity and some kind of comp uh, like uh, current voltage level etc but in digital filter environment change does not affect its output so these are immune to environmental changes noise and relatively stable digital filter are very stable in comparison to our analog filter uh, as per our noise and uh, stability concern impedance matching as we give the input we get the same output at the uh, receiving end uh, so impedance matching is very perfect in digital filter computational problem is resolved over here because all the calculation is done computer based and there is a no manual calculation so error uh, is very minimum we can say that. error is very like we uh, we understand it is zero percent over here and the secondly availability of that multiple filtering we can do with this digital filter variety of shape amplitude and phase response we can get so we will always all do work on like our simulation so we will get the all response uh, like in every kind of amplitude and phase response so easy transportation and reconfiguration using this kind of uh, digital filters then we will understand digital filter versus analog filter so here is the comparison of our digital filter and analog filters so uh, we can understand the difference between these two as already discussed in advantage of digital filter they have high accuracy in analog filter less accuracy because they have component tolerance as we are using the rlc component so we can say that they are infected by affected by the our like uh, environmental conditions temperature humidity etc so linear phase uh, filter fir filter are the categories of digital filters so they are very linear so the stability concept is very clear in the uh, we can say that in digital filter or we can say uh, we will get the same desired output as we are giving in the input send or transmitter end and receiving end of will a matching component they have a non linear phase we do, do not get the same response as we are giving the input right so no drift due to the component variations here is drift due to the component variation as already uh, discussed resistance is a temperature quantity or uh, temperature parameter component we can say that so drift problem obviously will occur in analog filter otherwise in a digital filter there is no such kind of problem flexible adaptive filter possible so they are very flexible adaptive technology we can use in digital filters as we we can do number of simulations we can adapt the filter in number of condition otherwise adaptive filter technology or technique is very difficult in analog filtrations then easy to simulate and design uh, so we can uh, design or simulate uh, all the uh, like filters digital filter on the computer based but we can also change our uh, uh, filter designing as per our requirement when like in unlike in uh, analog filters what we have to do we have to uh, design complete filter with the new component so this is the main factor actually we consider in this so this is the disadvantage of analog filters computation must be completed in sampling period limit real time operations so we all we all can make the real time operations using digital filter analog filter required a high frequency and for anti-aliasing filter for that so analog filter uh, to be work on the real time uh, uh, environment need to be a high frequency or anti-aliasing filters require high performance adc and dac and dsp so they uh, digital filter require for their high performance analog digital conversion with a high high performance kind of similarly dac require uh, for high performance kind of and processor should be high speed basically otherwise in analog filters no adc no dac and dsp requirements they just be, uh, work on the component characteristic based kind of thing Right, so this is the difference between the analog and digital filters. Thank you very much.
if you have any query regarding the same you can uh, put me or you can send me as a feedback in email that is given in the description box please like and subscribe our channel and for more videos on the uh, filters please stay tuned with us on our channel thank you very much